Welcome to a special edition of Eric Way Whiskey Studies. In this video, I'm gonna talk about condensers, uh, both worm tub condensers and shell and tube condensers. I have two bottles right here from uh, Dawani Distiller. This is the 2022 Distillers Edition, and this is Lizzie's Dram that I picked up from the distillery when I visited in 2018. One of the things that gets talked about regarding Dawani Distillery is they went from uh, worm tub condenser to shell and tube and then back to worm tub. Now that's a lot of work and that's a big expenditure to go from one and to the other and then to go back because there was something in the character of the whiskey that they didn't like after the change. But you may be wondering, so what the heck is the difference between a shell and tube and a worm tub condenser? Well, let's look at this. To make Scotch whiskey, starch is extracted from barley through malting and it becomes green malt. The green malt is turned into a liquid sugar known as wort in the mash tun. The wort is then fermented into an 8% alcohol by volume beer in a wood or metal washback. The beer is then turned into a vapor when heated in a wash still, but then what? The vapor needs to be turned back into a liquid, known as low wines, through a condenser. But what kind of condenser? In this short video clip, we're gonna look at worm tubs versus shell and tube condensers. And do they make a difference? More copper contact results in a lighter spirit. Worm tubs and shell and tube condensers have an impact on new make spirit character as the interaction between alcohol vapor and active copper helps to determine whether a new make spirit is light or heavy. The longer the counteraction between the spirit and the copper in a still and the condenser, the lighter the spirit will be. The worm tub was invented by a German chemist named Christian Anfred Wiegel in 1771. He designed a system in which cold water was continuously pumped into the bottom of the tub and hot water removed from the top. Inside this tub was the worm itself. Worm is the old English term for serpent and the original name for the coiled tube. Today, the worm is a continuation of the line arm which extends through the exterior wall of the distillery, wraps itself inside the tub, and then runs into the spirit safe. In a worm tub, the diameter of the pipe steadily decreases and it is in a cooler environment than inside the stillhouse. While the constantly upwelling cold water ensures that condensing is fast and short. As a result, the spirit is heavy often with desirable sulfur elements. The effect of the worm tub on spirit character was most notably observed when Dawani Distillery removed its worm tub and replaced them with shell and tube condensers. The new make spirit character, heavy and sulfury, changed immediately, so worm tubs were reinstalled. Distillers can, however, change the effect of the worm tubs to help create different characters by changing the speed the vapor runs through the condenser or changing the temperature of the water. If the flow of the cold water into the tub is rapid, then condensing will take place quickly, resulting in a heavy sulfury spirit. If the flow of the water is slow, then the worm tub heats up and prolongs the interaction between vapor and copper. This will help to make a lighter style of spirit though this is relative as it will be heavier than a light spirit made in a distillery with a shell and tube condenser. Again, Delwini was important in understanding this. The distillery's original worm tubs were rectangular cast iron vats. As the first thing visitors would see when arriving at the distillery would be the worms, the replacements were in a more aesthetically pleasing washback style shape. Because the water flowed in a different manner in these, the spirit character, while sulfury, was still different from that of the old worm tubs, so the flow rate had to be adjusted. Worm tubs are now unusual. 
of the current operational Scotch whiskey distilleries, only 17 have them, including Ardenhoe, Ballandalloc, Balmanic, Ben Rennes, Glen Kinchy, Craggenmore, Craigellachie, Dalwenny, Edredour, Glen Elgin, Mortlock, Oban, Old Pulteney, Royal Lochnagar, Spayburn, Springbank, and Talisker. Now let's look at the Shellen Tube Condenser. Shellen Tube Condensers were invented in 1825 by William Grimble. A Shellen Tube Condenser system consists of a bundle of around 100 copper tubes through which cold water flows and they are contained within a copper shell. When the vapor hits the cold tubes, it condenses the spirit. Because there is a larger amount of available copper, the spirit produced from a shell and tube setup tends to be lighter in character than from a warm tub condenser. If warm or hot water is run through the condenser, it will prolong the copper conversation even further, producing an intense grassy character. But if a distillery runs cold water through its shell and tube condenser, it will have a heavier character. Finally, Having condensers outside of the hot stillhouse will increase some heaviness or remove the copper altogether and switch to stainless steel and the condensers will create a heavier style. Now the reality is, as you saw there uh, in that video clip, it's not just a matter of shell tube versus warm tub, it's also what is the temperature of your water and what is the rate in which the uh, vapor is flowing through there and how fast you're going through there. Those have an impact as well as um, whether it's one type of condenser and the other. Now, of course, there's a gazillion other factors that uh, play a role in, in the profile of your whiskey. Everything from the type of grain to the shape of your still, whether it's double distilled, whether it's triple distilled, uh, the height of your still, the rate in which you uh, run your stills, how you're doing your cuts in the still, and of course, what type of casks you're using, whether you have a dunnage warehouse or a rack warehouse, what is the climate in which the uh, rack house or dunnage warehouse exists, whether of course, whether you're using peated whiskey, or uh, peated uh, malt or unpeated malt, and so on and so forth. So the type of condenser is just one very small um, variable in the production of whiskey. I've not seen it done yet, but I'd like to do it is to have a lineup of worm tub versus shell and tube condenser whiskeys blind and see if you could tell the difference or have someone who's an expert who could point out to me this particular trait there, that's shell and tube trait. This particular trait there, that is a worm tub. But that's another time, another video, if I could find an expert who could actually teach me that, but that would be awesome. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna put a link to my reviews of these whiskeys at the end of this. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and ring the bell to be notified for when I go live or post a new video. Until next time, Slanji Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.